In this video, we will discuss Bark interview questions. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, I have made this video so that uh, students can get the basic idea about the questions that are asked in BARC interview. First of all, I want to tell you that the questions that are asked in BARC interviews are not very tough. Rather, they are very basic questions. So let us start. So as uh, they, given in the question, there is a container which contains ice at minus 10 degree centigrade. Then draw the temperature versus time graph if constant rate of heat is supplied. So this is a container. It contains ice. The temperature of ice is given as minus 10 degree centigrade and the constant rate of heat is supplied by this. So if you will uh, draw the temperature versus time graph, uh, it is not very difficult like this. This side is the temperature, its unit is in degree centigrade. The horizontal axis is time, its unit is in seconds. So when you will make the temperature versus time graph, as we all know, the initial temperature of ice is minus 10 degree centigrade. So with time, the temperature of the ice will increase. So it will increase to zero degree centigrade. It will increase linearly. Uh, till at zero degree centigrade as we all know that uh, phase change takes place from ice to water so it will take some time at uh, zero degree centigrade during the phase change and so the horizontal line will be there present after zero degree centigrade when the whole the whole of the ice is converted into water the temperature will again start to increase so from zero degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade the temperature will also increase linearly and after 100 degree centigrade, the phase change will again take place from water to steam. So this horizontal line represents the phase change from water to steam. So this this is a basic thing that all of the people know. So the uh, what they expect in BRC interview is that do we know that the slope of this curve and this curve is equal or which slope is more. So in this we will discuss is the slope equal or which slope is more so the reason for this is we all know that uh, theta 1 is greater than theta 2 I will also tell the reason behind this so uh, while making the curve for temperature versus time we have to make the curve in such a way that this slope is more than this slope the reason behind this is as we all know CP of ice is 2.108 kilojoule per kg Kelvin and CP of water is 4.187 kilojoule per kg Kelvin and as we all know Q equal to MCP TT and Q dot constant rate of heat as given in the question that constant rate of rate of heat is supplied not heat so we have to convert that heat into rate first so the rate of heat is equal to MCP DT that is temperature upon DT in this T is time so uh, as we all know as given the question this is equal to constant so we can find that dt temperature upon dt time is inversely proportional to cp so this dt upon dt represent the slope of temperature time graph and we all know that uh, slope of temperature time graph we have represented by theta 1 and theta 2 so we know that CP of water is greater than CP of ice as I have tell you the values before. So we can uh, say that the slope of water, the slope of temperature time graph of water is less than slope of temperature time graph on ice. So we can say from here that theta 2 is less than theta 1. And the second thing that they uh, want in this graph is that the time interval that is taken for the phase change from ice to water is that equal to the time interval that is taken during the phase change from water to steam so the answer to this is that uh, the time interval t2 is greater than the time interval t1 so this time interval is more as compared to this time interval the reason behind is that as we all know that latent heat of vaporization that is the heat required for 1 kg of water to convert into steam 
is 2260 kilo joule and the latent heat of fusion it is the heat required to convert 1 kg of ice to water so that that heat is 334 kilo joule so as we can clearly see that latent heat of vaporization is more than the latent heat of fusion so the time required for this heat this thing to be get heated up to uh, this energy level will be more that is the t2 time will be more as compared to t1 time now we will discuss question number two in question number two there is a container containing ice at minus 10 degrees centigrade then draw the temperature versus specific volume graph in the previous question we draw the temperature versus time graph in this question we will draw the temperature versus specific volume graphs graph for the condition and uh, here the constant rate of heat is also supplied so uh, before uh, drawing the temperature versus specific volume graph we should understand uh, one more graph that is specific volume versus temperature so uh, before understanding specific volume versus temperature graph uh, we must know one property that is anonymous expansion of water in anonymous expansion of water it is an abnormal property of water whereby it expands instead of contracting when temperature goes from 4 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade so when we will make a graph between specific volume and temperature when the temperature is increased from minus 10 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade as we all know on heating uh, generally a substance expands so its volume will increase so uh, from minus 10 to 0 the volume will increase as shown in the path a b then during the phase change there is a discontinuity is present at the specific volume so uh, in the point b ice is present and at the point c water is present so when the uh, phase change takes place from ice to water there is a drastic decrease in the specific volume and in the c to d uh, when the temperatures increase from 0 to 4 as i have told you the behavior of anonymous expansion of water so uh, from when we will move from 0 to 4 degree centigrade if generally the uh, material expands but uh, in case of water due to anonymous behavior it its specific volume decreases from when the temperature is increased from 0 to 4 degree centigrade as you can see from the path cd then when we move from d to e that is from temperature 4 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade its specific volume increases and again due to phase transition there is a discontinuity is present at point e water is present and at point f steam is present so when the phases change from water to stream there is a drastic increase in the specific volume and then again from f to further the volume increases as the temperature is increased so if you have understood this graph then it will be very easy for you to make the above graph between temperature and specific volume now i will now i will show you how we can make the graph between temperature and specific volume as we can uh, as there is there was ice at minus 10 degree centigrade so uh, when we will increase the temperature from minus 10 to 0 as we can see that the specific volume is increased as shown by the path ab so as, as we will heat from minus 10 to 0 the specific volume will increase as shown by path ab the path bc the specific volume is decreased so we have decreased the specific volume in the path bc in the path cd the specific volume is also decreased the specific volume is also decreased and temperature is also increased from 0 to 4 so the graph will be like this in the path de the specific volume is increased as we move from temperature 4 to 100 so uh, as we move from temperature 4 to 100 the specific volume increases and then again from e to f the specific volume increases but the temperature is constant the temperature is constant the specific volume increases so the question asked here is also that uh, why bc uh, is small and ef is more uh, it is because uh, there is a less volume change when the uh, ice is changed into water 
but the more volume changes there when uh, water is converted into steam for more such videos please like and subscribe study hacks channel on youtube